My peers and the students around me really inspired me to make students more aware of the fact that they're being targeted by tobacco industries and big tobacco. The Healthy Maryland Initiative is an initiative to work towards increasing the tax on tobacco products in the state of Maryland by one dollar. Our goal is to really get legislators and senators to endorse it and to sign on so that we can easily get it passed. Devon is mature beyond her years. She has gone and talked at hearings uh, before the Senate uh, and the delegates. My involvement with the Healthy Maryland Initiative has given me the opportunity to work with not only Senator Rick Madaleno, but as well Mr. Vinnie DeMarco from the Healthcare for All. I've had the opportunity to have various conversations as well as participate in meetings and press conferences with these other organizations. This is something that needs to be passed now. I found out that tobacco companies are targeting me. When I found this out, I made it my goal and my mission to protect and help all youth who do not have the support I did to make a safe and healthy choice not to use tobacco. We noticed there was a huge increase in our community of people smoking in front of businesses. Since secondhand smoke is so deadly, we came up with a campaign to keep people from being exposed to secondhand smoke while walking into a business. So we're just going business to business asking them if they would like to put these signs up in their buildings. We have an overwhelming amount of support from our community. We have 33 businesses waiting to get our signs up on their businesses. My next step in the initiative is to go to our county commissioners and get our signs up in all our county buildings. Spencer's advocacy has been very instrumental in affecting change in our community, whether it's with the smoke-free campaign in the playgrounds or our smoke-free entryways. Spencer has always been right up front. Now is the time to act because we don't want another 50 years of tobacco. What inspired me to start tobacco prevention was seeing my grandfather struggle with his addiction. He started smoking when he was young and it prevented him from being with the family. He actually decided to quit once I started working in tobacco prevention. I've been involved with SWAT students working against tobacco since I was in eighth grade. We go to things like festivals and events in the local area and set up booths to educate kids that are there about the dangers of candy flavored tobacco. Candy flavored tobacco is particularly dangerous to youth in the fact that it's attractive to them. My biggest moment in my involvement with SWAT would probably be when my county commissioners passed an ordinance putting all candy flavored tobacco behind the counter in my county. Chandler is a natural leader and he's helping to change the way that you see tobacco in the county. More and more people need to start calling their representatives and senators and tell them about the problems in their community with tobacco because if we don't educate them, they can't fix the problem. Five point six million kids alive now will one day die of their tobacco use. I joined Smokebusters in seventh grade because I really saw the amount of people using tobacco in my community. I realized that it's so harmful and people are dying because of their addiction. The Stand Up Against Big Tobacco campaign was a way for citizens to voice their opinions about big tobacco to the legislators. We had a post board and we had all these cards about why you stand up against big tobacco. We collected 2,400 cards and we displayed them at our Capitol Day where the youth gave them to our legislators. They really got their attention and they wanted to know what we were doing. My legislator was shocked by some of the things that were written on the cards. The impact that the Stand Up Against Big Tobacco has had in our state has been really enormous. Our legislatures are informed a lot more. Missouri still has the lowest tobacco tax in the nation. People are still dying every day. Tobacco isn't going away unless we fight now.